Buster Wayne can't get you, but Jamal, we on our grind. So one day, we gonna shine. All right, y'all. I like this title. Um, I'm gonna look confused by it, though, because it say genius kid fights mean kid and side school. What happens next is shocking. Um, the part I'm confused about because if it's a genius kid, then how he fall victim to fight the mean kid? If he a genius, he should use his genius mind to get his leg back. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too intelligent. I don't know. Let's get into this video. <laughs> Let's get into this video. Let's see what what made him fight him. I feel like he I feel like he can't be that smart if he uh end up fighting him. Let's go. This got to be the main kid. The store has zero tolerance policy for theft. I understand, sir. I do, and I know my son is so, so sorry. My shit is broke. He has a new phone. I'm not sure why he stole this one. I'm gonna have to call the police. Wait. He's a straight A student. He's at the top of his class. He's just going through a lot right now. Please, I I can pay for the new iPhone. <laughs> Please just don't call the cops. Do you hear me? Richie, are you listening to me? You know you could be in jail right now. Whatever, I'm sure jail is better than being here. You might want to rethink that one, buddy. What? Listen, I know these last few weeks have been devastating Why you for both of us. What happened? you know that this is not what your father would have wanted for you? If he was here... Well, he's not, is he? He's dead. Oh. Richie. What? It's true. That's why you're depressed. <laughs> why would I listen to someone who decided to... I think it's time for me to tell you the real reason why he did what he did. You see? I don't care! There is no reason that I'll ever be good enough. I'm done talking about this. Richie! Richie! Just lose you. Watch this. Oh. Hell, I don't even know where you're going to get yourself into. Oops. Did I do that? Switching mad? Leave me alone, Dylan. Yeah. You guys hear that? She wants me to leave him alone. You should leave him alone. Oh, you can watch him real. Man, I'm just being honest. Uh -oh. You guys hear about that guy that drove up Interstate 5 to the Golden Gate Bridge and just jumped off? I mean, how messed up is your life for you to want to go up there and just want to just drop him? Yeah. Well, Richard, you don't have priors. You have a 4.0 GPA, third in your class. I don't understand what you're doing here. Damn. Your Honor, if I may, <clears throat> my client doesn't belong here. He's got a bright future ahead of him at Cornell. Hopefully, if he doesn't... Keyword, he had a bright future ahead of him. He's going down... A path of disaster now. No, with a record. Things have been very tough for him lately since his father's death last month. In fact, the reason why he even got into a fight was because somebody was bullying him about it. I see. Is this true, Mr. Webb? 
was true. Well, uh, sorry for your loss. But we can't have you beating up kids in school either. I'll tell you what. I'll mandate that you see a therapist. Upon successful completion of 10 sessions, we'll wipe this from your record so you don't serve any jail time. And Cornell will still be an option. I would hate to close the door on a young man with so much potential. You won't regret your decision. Thank you. I certainly hope not. This court is adjourned. Yes. Great. Excellent. This is great news, honey. Right? So, your mom tells me you're a senior at Bookside, huh? I went to Bookside once upon a time. Do they still do Pizza Fridays? That was my favorite day. Enough of me blabbering. What would you like to talk about, Richie? We still have a few minutes left. Who's that? I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> Do you play? Well, our time is over for today, but we can explore this further on Thursday if you'd like. Dr. McGee, how'd it go? Not great. He didn't want to talk about anything. I was afraid of. God, he's just been so angry lately and now uncommunicative. Well, at least with his words. He never used to be like this. What he's gone through would be a lot for anyone to deal with, especially a teenager. Depression manifests in so many different ways and unfortunately, anger is one of them. Do you think... Who said, who said bless you? Somebody better comment down below. Somebody better comment down below bless you. Because y'all know I will sit here all day long. I think I got to sneeze again. Uh, oh, no, now I got to burp. Comment down below bless you. Now, for real, somebody need to comment down below bless you. I sit here all day long. Comment down below, bless you. Come on now, we ain't got all day. I'm gonna wait till y'all comment down below, bless you. <sighs> I think I need to go get another one. Okay, okay, okay. I appreciate the comment. I'm gonna heart your comment, man. Hey, I might even shout you out in the next video, but let's get uh, let's continue this video right here. Medicine would help. I typically don't like to go that route. And from my experience in these types of situations, the best way to help him would be to find a way for him to shift his focus from the pain he's feeling to new possibilities. What do you mean? Well, getting him a new hobby or a new creative interest, something to redirect his energy. Him having something to be excited about would go a long way. It's the second most important thing, at least. The second most important? What's the first? Yeah, what's the first? Getting him to forgive his father.
YouTube for? I made dinner. Not hungry. All right. I'll just leave that there just in case. Look, I know that you're upset and can't understand why your dad did what he did. That's why it's so important for you to know the whole story. Please, the is there something that you need because I'm busy? Tell the whole story. Just tell it. Because this man just stubborn. He, his stuff is worse than mine. Okay, so what would you like to talk about today? Uh, you would you like to talk about what happened at school? How to play chess. Or would you like to talk about your father? I don't want to talk about anything, all right? I wouldn't even be here if I didn't have to be. All right. You don't have to talk. How about if we just play instead? Now, how chess works is... Uh-huh. Oh, so you know how to play. <laughs> Funny thing about chess is that it's a lot like life. Every move matters. It's exactly like life. No matter how big or small it may seem. And sometimes you have to go back in order to move forward. Even the strongest players have setbacks sometimes, but with resilience and determination, they make it through the difficult times and come out stronger, like a real, true chess player does. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Check me. I've been playing for seven years. How long have you been playing? Since last night. Wow. Okay. You're a genius. <sighs> what took you so long? I'm going to be late. Uh, you're not going to therapy today. What? Why not? Since when do you care about not going? Well, I'm just telling you what's going on. Why am I not going to... You're not going to therapy today because yeah. Dr. McGee is coming to you. Hey, Richie. You ready to go on a little adventure today? <laughs> Where are we? This is just a little place. Old timers like me like to come and play chess and spend time. So now, Let's see if yesterday was just luck or genius. So what's your plan? What do you mean what's my plan? My plan is to beat you. <laughs> I'm not talking about chess. I'm talking about life. What are your goals, your dreams? Your mom says you want to go to Cornell, right? Is that true? I don't know anymore. So you're going to give up on all your dreams because your dad... It's your turn. Richie. I don't want to talk about my dad, okay? I hate him. Damn. Hate is a strong word. Let's explore that. Define hate. You want me to define hate? Hate is what I'm starting to feel for you. All right. That's fine. You're entitled to that. Please, continue. So this is what I mean about therapy. It's all an act. You want me to define this and explore that when you can't even confront your own demons? What do you mean? That little girl in the photo. When I asked about her, your whole body language changed. Is it just me, y'all? Or is his voice scaring y'all? Like, his voice is genuinely scaring me. Like, how is he sounding like that? Like... He sound like that man below. Like he sound like if, if, if I don't know how the devil sound, but I imagine that's how the devil sound. <laughs> I imagine that's how the devil sound. So don't act like you can help me when you can't even help yourself. That's true. That's true, buddy. Can Emily. You, can you help yourself? Her name was Emily. You see, I adopted her when she was young. 
It was just the two of us, and she was my whole world. I was the happiest I had ever been. That is, until everything changed. She just got sick out of nowhere. We ran every test, did every treatment, spent every dime I had, but we couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. After she was gone, my whole world turned upside down. So you see, everything changed for me. I completely shut down. I was so mad at the world for taking away what I love the most. I'm sorry. I never want to guess you went through that. Yeah, well, it's really hard for me to move on. And clearly, I haven't fully yet. But one day I was watching the movie Rocky. That's my And there was a quote that. Rocky, that's one of my favorite movies. Go ahead, but continue, man. Just stuck with me. Rocky says, life, it's not about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. So that's how I try to I live my life. Take and keep and move moving forward. forward. No matter how That's hard how winning is done. That's my right there. I don't know how to do that. That's my, that's my Well, it would help a lot. So that's how if winning. you could find peace in forgiving your father. Which won't be easy. I mean, it was really hard to forgive myself after I lost Emily. But I told myself, if I moved on, I could help save other kids like you. But sometimes I ask myself if I'm even making any difference at all. I think you just did. for you to be great. Well, no, no. Your dad had cancer, Archie. The doctors gave him three months to live. That's why he was coughing all the time and in and out of the hospital. As he got closer, his whole appearance started to change. He got so skinny and frail. He still didn't worry about himself. He was so worried about you seeing him that way. That he...
several months later. y'all want to see me react to man don't forget to hit the like button hit the like button get this video to 50 likes man y'all don't be acting like y'all be liking these dark man videos but i know y'all be liking them on the low low don't act like you don't like these dark man videos because you secretly love them so hit the like button man comment down below what you want to see me react to next though subscribe if you're new and i'll see y'all in the next video